Hi! So, ito yung continuation ng lesson natin. Um, I'm still using the same raw data na dinemonstrate ko dati. So, aalisin ko lang yung ibang features. Okay? So, you have here a set of data. Alright? So, meron siyang names, uh, subtotal, amounts, IDs, ayan. So, what if you have a client and ang gusto ng client mo is magkaroon siya ng monthly or yearly or uh, quarterly report, okay? Kaya lang, by looking at this raw data, wala kang column dito na pwede mong magamit for a month or year or quarterly comparison. So, that's when you automate your template by adding formulas. So, let's say... In this cell, I will be adding a column month. I'll press tab, year, and date. Okay. So, we will be using the formula text. So, let me just zoom this out. Okay. So, text is a function to convert a value to text in a specific number format. Okay. So, in this set of data, we will be extracting the date, okay? But the date is not in the correct format as of now. So what we're going to do is we can click G. I'll press Control 1. Or G and right-click format cells, okay? So let's select date and let's select the default one. Click OK. Okay, now you can see that these values are dates, okay? So you have the month, uh, day and then the year so we are going to use this column to extract the month the year and the day okay so let's use the text formula so the value earlier the dates value it will be converted to a text format so open parenthesis you have two arguments argument number one is value and argument number two is format text so our value is going to be this one. I'm just pressing my left arrow key. So the value is the order date. Okay. So you will see that your formula bar, kagaya ng sinabi ko dati, kailangan lagi kang nakatingin sa formula bar mo to make sure na nakuha mo yung tamang argument. Okay. The order date is what's showing sa formula mo. And this feature is what we call easy nomenclature. So instead na makikita mo yung cell G2, ang lumalabas is yung order date, which is a field name or a title header. Okay, this one. Okay, and this is better kasi let's say if you are creating a formula, makikita mo kung ano yung mga columns or fields na ginamit mo to compose that formula to calculate something. If you see a formula na equal sign B2 times H1 divided by C27, so it's easier to understand this format compared to that formula. Kasi, ahanapin mo pa, ano ba yung C3? Ano ba yung H27? Okay, so nakakalito yung ganung um, formulas. And this is the new method of composing one. So for you to move to the next argument, if you can see, Yung value dito is naka bold letter siya. It means that active pa yung argument na yon. So if naka bold pa yan and I move here, sorry. Let's say nag move ako ng ibang cell, okay? There's a possibility na mare replace ang order date. Let's say I have selected this one, okay? And then hindi ka nag press ng comma. Ang pwedeng mangyari is possible na ma move yung cell na yon. So, for you to move to the next argument, make sure to press comma muna before you move to the next argument. And makikita mo na nag bold letter yung format text. So, yung format text, this is the format that you want. And it will be uh, required to add a rabbit ear or quotation marks. Okay? Because you are declaring text. Okay? So, let's type in Four letter M's. So, back at four letter M's. That's represented by month. Okay? And then, let's close this one so you can see the output. 
So, your output is January. Okay? Full text. Okay? That's because four letter M's yung nilagay mo. If you're going to click your formula bar, tapos bawasan mo ng isang M, ayan, naging three letters na lang siya. So, shortcut version. Okay? So, if you type in dalawang M's, yung number naman, yung equivalent. Pero, wala na yung purpose kung bakit tayo gumagamit ng text. Kailangan yung word yung lumabas. So, it's either you will use three letters or four letters. Okay? So, let's use three letters. Ito yung kadalasan kong ginagamit kasi mas maiksi siyang tingnan kapag you are preparing a pivot report. Okay. Sa so year naman, we will use the same function, which is the text. Let's get the date. And the format this time is four letter wise. Press enter and you will have the year. Nakita mo, hindi ako nag hindi ako nag-autofill ng formula automatically. Nag-drag yung formula hanggang sa dulo because that's a Microsoft Excel table feature. Okay? Next is yung day. I'll use the same function and get the order date as your first argument. And the format is four letter Ds inside to rabbit ears and press enter okay so you have here thursday or monday to sunday okay if you change this to three letters shortcut version siya. okay i'll show you another example so anything that you indicate inside the rabbit ears susundan lang siya ni microsoft excel Let's say you type in four letter M's, DD, space, Y, 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 four na D's. So, anong kalalabasan niya? Susundan niya yung format na yun. So, you have this format. So, January, because of that four letter M's, yung DD is the two-digit date. And then, yung year, four digits. And then, comma, yung full day. Okay? Monday to Sunday. Okay? So, kapag pinalitan mo yan ng three letters, gawin mo siyang two digits na lang yung year. Pwede mo siyang lagyan ng apostrophe. Ayan. Tanggalin mo yung isang D. If you press enter, ayan, sinusundan niya lang. Basta nasa loob siya ng rabbit ears. Okay? So, let's say month, date, year. Okay, so sinusundan niya lang. Alright, so let's remove this one. Okay, now you have your formula. Okay, and you have a column month, year, and day. I think we are ready to create our first pivot report. But before that, I hope you give this a try. Access this file inside the Google Drive folder, and then you can try adding three columns to show month, year, and date. Thank you.